Stepping. Stepping. Skipping. Skipping. Running. Running. And then finish line. <laughs> finish line. Once you're at finish line, then you're like, that's you're, love. That's love. Perfect. <laughs> I like it. So where, I know, I, so where are we at? I, I'd say I, we're I'm jogging. going into I'd, a run. I'd say we're jogging. You're going into mm -hmm. a run? Mm -hmm. That's good. I like it. <laughs> Brooks well, went into a run to Bill Cosby's closet and grabbed <laughs> one of his sweaters on last night's edition of The Bachelorette. Which is a wrap, basically. It, right? it is. It, and that's a season wrap. Is it game over? <laughs> uh, last night, Brooks and Des seemed to be connecting in a way that none of the other contestants are. I mean... She kind of seemed to have connections with some of the other guys, too, though. And it's, uh, you and know... I, so well, it's, I think it's interesting that every single guy that she talks about is the sweetest, nicest, most sincere guy yeah, ever. Right. I swear to God, you could put Stalin or Hitler up there and she'd be like, oh, he's sweet! <laughs> he's sweet! He Couldn't wrote me a poem! He stolen, he, if he wrote Trevor. a poem, if he wrote her a poem and drew her a little picture, these guys should all be working at those green shacks in a public park in the middle of the summer. They'd be getting paid for it. Because all they want to do is create poems and things yes. like that. Twelve-year-old girls dig that. <laughs> what do you mean, twelve-year-old? What do you mean by that? I mean, it's, 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 that's all it takes to win to win some a grown adult woman's love. Is Katie, is Trevor not is, is he not selling these guys short just a little bit? You know what's so funny is that both of you guys weren't here last week, and Trevor actually said on air how invested he was in this season and For engaged, once. Yep. and he cared about the outcome, and. We were talking in the green room, and he totally does not feel like that. Today. I can't like, no. <laughs> what it's just It's just watching these guys because I think the drama's gone now. Now they're all they've they've quit fighting with each other finally, and now they're working so hard to show that I am the I am the perfect guy. I'm the nicest guy. That they've all become so saccharine and bland. That poor guy with diabetes is like Michael. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're all sweet, saccharine sweet now. It's just mm. nauseating to watch them. Whisper so, and simper. So, in a show and... that's designed to help somebody find their forever soulmate, you're yeah. disappointed that they're actually keeping it classy and showing their best side. But they're not showing. I mean, they're showing their best side now. But the irony is, we all know the truth. <laughs> We've been watching for the whole season, so the, we see them now suddenly watering it down for her. So and what do you want to happen? I want her to figure. I want her to be able to watch the footage we've seen because these guys are. Oh, I was going to say a bad word. These guys are not nice. Okay. These well, guys are not gave us a, oh, a little bit of insight. Really bad. Uh, thank you. This is when a, a TV host throws to either break or a clip to let you compose yourself and catch your breath and review those seven words you cannot say on television. Here's Desiree talking to host Chris Harrison. Where are you with Brooks? Um, I think with him I've hit the finish line. I know that's crazy and cool and so many different things, but I think I can confidently say that. Let me ask you this, and, and try to be honest, if you can, is this over? I wouldn't say it's over. I would just say I'm still keeping an open mind and an open heart. Because even with Chris, I had an amazing time with Chris, and he has expressed that he loves me. So I can see that as great potential. I feel comfortable with him. He doesn't wait for me. <laughs> So she's at the finish line with Brooks, but. but so the finish line, the metaphor for the fact that she's in love. In yeah. love, which he already said he's not in the same place emotionally as she is. However, you love, or you can see the potential with Chris because he loves you. I love you. But I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> so hang on a second, by joking about this, are you suggesting that you don't think that maybe it's like a romantic marriage sustaining love? You think that maybe it's just this emotional. I think growing to do. Exactly. The, 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 the man loves her and now she's thinking, well, maybe I should love him because he loves me. That's exactly yes. it. Yeah. yeah. She's very young. Okay. Chris read her a poem. We're, we're not going to show the clip of it, but oh, in the please poem. Don't, please because don't. Because I know you're going to blow oh, a gasket no, if no, we do. There's no but, good poem. They wrote, a, they wrote a poem together and it was every cliche of a rainbows bursting. And it was kind the, of an elementary of school and, rhyme, yeah. but what do you make of Chris, Carla? I mean, um, I don't know. She, she seems to have a connection with Brooks, so I think go for John with Brooks then, as you continue to shake your head. But Chris, I think I think it's all a little early for at this point for anyone to be professing their love for each other. How long have they known each other for? A few weeks, three, four weeks. But I love that Zach actually said, 
I'm ready to marry this woman. I've known her for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed so hard when I said Sometimes we but get... I think out of Chris... respect for another guy wouldn't tell her he loves her. That's true. Uh, yeah. that hometown dates sense. are next <laughs> week, and we're going to see that on Monday night. Katie, Michael was sent home. He doesn't get to introduce mm. her to his parents. Was Michael the right guy to send home? Yeah, I think he was. They should have sent him on weeks ago. Weeks ago, yeah. Weeks ago. But he was there yeah. for the drama. But then, and I'll, I'll run this clip a little bit later in entertainment, when he called to cry to his mom, I think they're preparing to make him the next Bachelor. Oh, oh I hope please. not. I can't I, watch that. No. no. I it's time watch to go that. back to the B will. and C I list celebrities, yes. right? Yes. I agree. Yes. Our BT Bachelorette panel here O'Connell. every Tuesday morning at this time. <laughs> the Bachelorette airing on our sister station, Omni, every Monday night. We're back after this with Bridget Ryan. Free Will Shakespeare Festival. It's 8-19 Tuesday morning.